Hello everyone! It's time for another episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. Valentine's Day is coming up, and now is the time to start planning for that special day with that special someone. Now let me ask you, what would be more special and lead to a better night for both of you? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Say no more, say no more. Going out to eat, fighting everybody else, and waiting 45 minutes at a restaurant for a sloppily put together meal on one of the busiest nights of the year or something that you can make to make to impress that special someone. Today I'm going to show you how to make something that is sure to impress. It's going to be a full meal. This recipe is probably going to be very long and it's going to include a vegan version of chicken cordon bleu, asparagus and rosemary new potatoes tossed in rose infused extra virgin olive oil. And for dessert, I suggest finishing it with my rich and luscious King Missile chocolate cheesecake, which can be found at tfvc.org forward slash cheesecake. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. And now let's find out the tools and ingredients that you'll need to make this awesome dish. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, of course, knife, some spoons, uh, tongs, a rolling pin, spatula, stock pot with a lid, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a couple of half sheet pans or cookie pans, something to drain with, mixing bowl, a saute pan, a pizza knife, rubber spatula, and a bench scraper. For the chicken seeding, what you'll need is one cup of vital wheat gluten, one quarter cup of chickpea or garbanzo bean flour, one tablespoon of soy protein, one half cup of chicken flavored vegetable stock, and this may be more or less depending upon how wet the dough is so um, it's just a, um, a guess. It all depends upon humidity and that kind of stuff. One quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and two, one teaspoon of garlic powder. You also need one a half of a red onion that's rough chopped two tablespoon of garlic, one half cup of white wine, one bay leaf, and five cups of chicken flavored vegetable stock. To make the cordon bleu, what we'll need is two packages of smoked ham, one package of sliced Swiss, a stick give or take of earth balance or vegan butter, one cup of white flour, one half teaspoon of paprika, this is regular not smoked, a tablespoon of cornstarch, a teaspoon of white pepper, a teaspoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of grains of paradise, two tablespoons of regular oil, two teaspoons of olive oil or an 80-20 blend. To make the garlic butter wine sauce that will go over the cordon bleu. What you will need is a pinch of white pepper, a quarter cup of white wine, a quarter teaspoon of Knox chicken base, a teaspoon of garlic, and two teaspoon or two tablespoons of vegan butter. For the rosemary olive oil infused potatoes, we will need is either a pound and a half of red potatoes or multicolored fingerling potatoes and we're going to cut these into half inch to one inch chunks. You'll also need two stems of rosemary that's been de-stemmed, one teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, one teaspoon of fresh ground grains of paradise, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, You'll need one teaspoon of paprika, three cloves of garlic that's been minced, two uh, 
one tablespoon of melted earth balance and you also need two tablespoons of olive oil or if you want to which one I'm doing in this recipe this is rose infused olive oil I just took some fresh rose petals stuffed it in a bottle filled it with olive oil you want to let it set for at least 48 hours if possible and we'll need two tablespoons of this for the asparagus what you'll need is a bunch of asparagus a tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes clove of garlic a teaspoon of sea salt a teaspoon of grains of paradise a tablespoon of white wine one tablespoon of earth balance melted or vegan butter melted and two tablespoons of olive oil and now that you've got all of the ingredients that you need Go ahead and gather them all up. Gather up all the tools you need. Pause the video. I'll wait. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and make the seton. I do have a recipe at tfvc.org forward slash seton that will give you more details on how to make seton. So I won't go into too many details here. You can go ahead and check that video out if you would prefer. What you'll need is go ahead and put in all of your dry ingredients. That's the, the cup of vital wheat gluten, tablespoon of uh, soy protein, quarter cup of chickpea or garbanzo bean flour, the quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes, and the two tablespoons of garlic. We'll go ahead and mix this up really quick. Now we'll go ahead and add the tablespoon of soy sauce. Get that mixed up. And then we'll slowly add the vegetable stock until it becomes a nice dough. And like I said before, you may need more or less depending upon your humidity. And I guess it's pretty dry here. So I'm adding a little bit more than half a cup of the uh, vegetarian no chicken broth. And we want to massage that once we get it to the right consistency we're going to go ahead and knead this for a good five or ten minutes. I have been kneading this for about ten minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and let it rest for about 20 minutes while this is resting. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. This is going to be for the asparagus. While this is resting, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, ingredients that we need for the filling of the vital wheat gluten and also to cook the vital wheat gluten. So I'll see you there. I'm going to go ahead and get the stock pot ready to cook off the seton. You'll need five cups of the vegetable stock, one half of an onion that's been rough chopped, one bay leaf, and one teaspoon of minced garlic, actually that's two cloves of minced garlic, pretty much the same thing, one half cup of white wine, and one bay leaf and then I'm also going to fill this up with another five cups of water. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this on a stove, put a lid on it and bring it up to a simmer. Okay. 
it's been 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take my seat in here and I'm going to roll it out. Let's take some flour, put it on your counter, put it on your rolling pin. And this will keep it from sticking too much on your pin and on your counter. And take this, flatten it out as much as we can, and then we're going to start rolling it. We want to roll it to about a quarter inch. I have my seaton rolled out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to cut it in two. Cut it in two again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make them into kind of a heart shape here. Okay, I've got a couple of them ready. As you can see, I cut them lengthwise instead of widthwise, but I have them pretty well sealed in there so they shouldn't separate out. So now what you'll do is take a couple pieces of the vegan ham and the vegan Swiss. and put them in there and then you'll top with a little bit of the butter on top and then once you've got them on top then you'll go ahead and fold it over and seal it. So you have kind of a half of a breast there. Now that I have these made, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the pot and let them boil for 10 minutes. So I'll see you over at the pot. have our water and stock mixture at a nice low simmer. We go ahead and add our pockets very carefully in there. We don't want to break them up. And we're going to let these cook for 10 minutes. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and take these out. We want to carefully take them out so that they don't break. Come on. And then we want to let them dry and drain. While these are drying and draining, I'm going to go ahead and get our vegetables in our starch ready. So I'll see you back over at the counter. Let's go ahead and move on to our potatoes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my potatoes up. And I'm going to cut them up into about half inch to one inch pieces here. And again you can use just red potatoes if you would like. Uh, but since it's Valentine's Day if you want to fancy it up Try to find some multicolored fingerling potatoes and I'll make it look extra special. You want to try to get these roughly the same size here. About half inch to one inch pieces.
we have our potatoes diced. We're going to go ahead and add our spices. And again, this is two stems of rosemary that's been destemmed, one half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, one half teaspoon of grains paradise, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of paprika, three cloves of garlic that's been minced. Give this a little bit of a toss here. Now we'll go ahead and add our one tablespoon of vegan butter that's been melted. And this, again, is two tablespoons of olive oil that has been infused with rose. And again, what I did was I took some rose petals, put it in an olive oil bottle or a wine bottle, filled it up to almost the top, then put in olive oil and uh, let it sit for at least 48 hours. And the longer it sits, the better, but 48 hours should be the minimum. Now we'll go ahead and give this a toss. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on a sheet pan. We have our potatoes ready to go. We're going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Again, it's 425 degrees. We're going to cook this for a total of 30 minutes. After 15 minutes is up, go ahead and put in the asparagus if you finish uh, preparing those early. Now we'll move on to the asparagus. And asparagus is fairly easy to prepare. If you haven't done it already, let me show you a little trick. Now, this part of it is going to be pretty stemmy. So what you want to do is kind of see where the asparagus is going to break. Where the asparagus is going to break naturally is <clears throat> where you want it to cut because that's going to be the difference from where the stemmy part is and where the uh, good part is. So just kind of let it snap naturally and you can either use it for your vegetable stock or you can use it for your compost pile. So don't let the bottoms go to waste. It may not be, they may not be pleasant to eat but you can definitely use them. I have all of my asparagus trimmed. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the sauce for the asparagus. The spices, again, are one clove of garlic minced, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes, one teaspoon of sea salt, and one teaspoon of grains of paradise. We're going to also add one uh, teaspoon of white wine, one tablespoon of melted vegan butter, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're going to go ahead and give this a good toss. Make sure all the asparagus get coated with this. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in a sheet pan. And we're going to cook this off. Now the asparagus, we're going to cook for 15 minutes. The potatoes we're going to put cook for 30. So what we'll want to do is go ahead and put this in the oven and let this bake off with the potatoes that have already been in there for about 15 minutes. 
Our vegetables are now cooking in the oven. While they're cooking, let's go ahead and move on with finishing up the seating. What you'll need is a little container like this. We're going to go ahead and add in the uh, one cup of flour, the one tablespoon of cornstarch, the uh, half teaspoon of paprika, oops, the teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of white pepper, tablespoon of Rain's Paradise. We'll go ahead and give this a quick little stir here. Now we have a flour base. Now I'll go ahead and take your little seaton things that we boiled off and there should still be just enough little moisture on it to lightly flour it. And continue on until they are all lightly coated. Now that they're all lightly coated, I'm going to go ahead and see you back over at the stove. I've got my saute pan hot. I've got my breaded chicken patties sitting over here ready to saute. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add my oil mixture and again this was two tablespoons of vegetable oil and two teaspoons of olive oil and we're just going to go ahead and saute these until they are nice and brown on both sides and be careful putting them in so this is going to be hot I have my chicken seat and all sauteed off. So I'll go ahead and finish off with the sauce. First thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add in our garlic, our white pepper, and our vegetable base. And again, that is one fourth teaspoon of not chicken base, one teaspoon of garlic, and uh, one quarter teaspoon of white pepper. So now that that's nice and sauteed off, we'll go ahead and add in our half cup of white wine. And we'll deglaze our pan. Now we'll take off the heat and we'll add in our two tablespoons of butter or our vegan butter, Earth Balance. And we'll slowly kind of let this melt in and create a sauce. Our sauce is done. Let's go ahead and plate. See you back over at the counter. We have everything cooked, finally. Now we're going to go ahead and get this plated. First thing we want to do is set down a piece of our beautiful quote unquote chicken cordon blues. I'm going to go ahead and add in some of our beautiful potatoes that we roasted with garlic and that beautiful smelling rose olive oil, rose infused olive oil. Go ahead and add in some of our beautiful asparagus that we roasted like that. Now we can drizzle in 
a little bit of our white wine sauce. I'm going to get a spoon here. That beautiful sauce. Just take it. Add it on there. Now we'll go ahead and serve up a dinner roll. A glass of white wine. And we are ready to serve. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can follow this recipe and more at thefatbeanchef.com. Don't forget about dessert. Dessert can be found at tfvc.org forward slash cheesecake. And this is my King Missile Chocolate Cheesecake. It's nice and rich and dense and chocolatey and it will be a perfect dish to finish this with. I hope that your Valentine's Day is a success with this recipe. Please let me know how it turned out for you. You can find us at your favorite social media site. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, we're everywhere. Please share this recipe with your family and friends. And if you like what I do, please let me know by going to tfvc.org forward slash donate. And donate a dollar or two. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you very much.